today I'm going to be taking a special look back over 2017 at the best moments from my Avery's today. Enjoy! Hello there guys, hope you're okay and I've got some really good news today. I've finally opened up the top Averys, so they're all one big Avery now. Even though they've got all this nice space now with all the cover, and they can even go into the other Avery, they're just still huddling in the canary pan bless them. You can see the, the hole there that they have to go into the new bit. And they're slowly going in and exploring the new Avery. You can see the bought parakeet there going in it's holding this box I think the finches have literally just shoved shoved it full of nest material don't think there's any ticks in there and here we are some of the Bengalis have finally come out and they're exploring they tend to stick together they're very social birds let me walk you through exactly what we've got in terms of nesting spots at the moment for the birds. We've got some, we've got six, I think they're called pails or buckets, little buckets that they can shove things in and build up. We've also got one uh, kind of a basket, plastic basket in them hanging off the, the wood in the middle. We've got lots, we've le I've left a few budgie boxes in there. There's a male feeding some chicks and there's a female feeding some other chicks. So I'm going to, I've left those two budgies in there for now. I hope the chicks survive. I've left a couple of other boxes up just because finches like to go in them sometimes. Mm. And there's lots of cover. I've got some that kind of, uh, kind of like trellising with leaves on. You can see just there. And then I've got a fake little tree. And I've also got uh, a bird safe uh, cut down branch that's in there that you can see just in front there. So they've got lots of uh, spots. I'm going to get some more boxes as well. You can see what an old nest box up there. I'm going to try and get some more boxes today. Maybe some more fake plants or more cover. And then let them get on with it and let them settle down.
you telling them what I am? He's gorgeous. Hello there guys, hope you're okay, got a nice update for you today. Uh, today is the start of a journey of taking down the old shed and building my bird room and in the process remaking the end of the aviary with the finches. And I've been catching lots of finches today. This is how they looked right before I caught about a third of them. Or maybe a quarter of them. Canary even started singing, bless it. Couldn't never really count properly, obviously. Such a big avian and a lot of birds and something nice there, but I think I had at least 70 zebra finches. So you can see the task at hand is not going to be an easy one. Here we are then with most of the finches that I needed to catch. There's a few in here that needed to go back in, but there are lovely little birds that are going to hopefully find new homes sometime in the near future this is obviously just a temporary cage just to give you guys a quick look at some of the lovely little babies This is pretty cool, I love how friendly they are when they're all together in a little cage there, even perching on my hand. So cool. So what's coming up next? Well, over the next few weeks I'm going to be taking this shed down and rearranging the end of the aviary there because it's attached to the shed and we're gonna be putting this bad boy up and this will be turned into my new bird room for breeding budgies and some maybe some other birds as well guys
These are the four birds that are left. Very lovely little birds. And it's that time of the year, guys. A big clean out for the finches. Uh, I was supposed to catch them this weekend, but they've been so busy doing other things. But don't worry, little guys. I'll be getting you soon enough. And this is why it's very important to give your birds plenty of cuttlefish bone. You can see here the birds absolutely love it, especially my finches. They go absolutely nuts when I give them fresh cuttlefish. And this next part's really cool, guys. You can see landing in about two seconds, right in the middle. I've zoomed in. There you go, one of my first uh, Bengalese finches of the year. Absolutely beautiful. Really hard to catch them because it's quite a big avian. There's quite a lot of birds, but yeah, really chuffed. So that's the finches cleaned out, and you can see here they're all looking quite happy. A few chicks as well, got plenty of chicks actually. Also been very busy in the bird room today giving that a bit of a clean out. And I've now got some solar powered night lights in there, because the other night one of my females got disturbed and she caught her, her wing on the cage somewhere, and it, it was a new growth of feather and it caused her to bleed a little bit and these things are really cool there's some extra ones in the middle as well for a bit of extra lighting it's, you can fix up to three lights to each panel and these things were 12 pound real good bargain excellent i'll show you the the lighting in a later video here you can see the chicks that are left over they need to be rehomed sometime too and here we've got the canaries, I've put the divider in for now until I want to breed them just to stop, stop them from squabbling and being uncomfortable and you'll be pleased to know that Mango hasn't gone anywhere and he will be a keeper definitely and you'll see some clips of him in a little bit here's the breeding budgies going to be increasing the light level over the next few months slowly to trigger their breeding I've got electricity in there now you'll see that in a sec here's some more breeding birds here's the one that caught a, a wing and because of the flapping it makes it it makes it look ten times worse than where it is and that's why I've got the the new solar powered night lights now uh, these two, the one you've just seen and these two excellent pairs and I think they're going to have eggs pretty soon, as soon as I increase the light levels these two have settled in quite nicely as well so that's the budgies at the moment now uh, here is my very good reliable trusty heater that I will be using when it gets really really cold let's see if we can give you a nice wide angled view of all the cages and it's finally looking like a proper bird room well impressed with the <laughs> progress nice little bird room but it does the job keeps my birds nice safe and warm and lets me breed birds throughout the year and you can see the wires I tried to keep out of the way but it's quite hard these little clips just to keep them out of the way and next up, he's a little bit of a star at the moment, is Mango. He's definitely going to be uh, looked after and kept by us. Say, I can't go to a new home. I like this one. He's staying friendly, so hopefully he'll keep friendly and we'll have a nice budget for life to look after. He's found a millet. It's like, yeah, I want some of that. I don't want a little bit. And we've sort of about 80 to 90 percent of the work done in the bedroom. It's time to take off the protective cover. Rather, remember to take it off.
Say hello, Mango. Say hello. Tell him you're staying. You're not going, are you, Mango? No. You're not going, are you, Mango? Hmm? You're not going anywhere. Well, you might go for a trip around the bedroom. Yeah. Are you staying, Mango? Hmm? Hey, you had to swept this floor, mister. Mm -hmm. You gonna stay there?